today i'm going to be showing you guys how to make this very very easy uh top it's like a long top that has a slit on the two sides so guys the first thing i did is just to fold two fabrics i folded the first one and then i folded the second one because we are going to be cutting both the front and the back at the same time so guys um it depends on you the length you want yours to be mine is not going to be all the way to my ankle it's just going to be mid knee like um mid calf sorry so um this is what i'm working with so the width of your fabric is going to be your um your hip measurement because remember this is going to cover down to where your hip is so you need to use your hip measurement divided by four um that's going to be what you fold on so my hip here is um the hip i'm working with is um 48 divided by 4 is going to be 11 sorry it's going to be 12 so i added one inch to it so that's basically 13 inches so if you see here the fold is 13 both for one piece is going to be the front and then the second one is going to be the back guys some people make their own with zip if you want you can do that but i'm not making mine too when zip comes in is if you're trying to make it too tight right like fitted on you but i don't want mine too tight so i'm going to just use button so that's why my front and the back are the same but let's say now i wanted to add the zip so i, I will just add 1.5 here so this back fabric will extend by 1.5 at the center back so that's basically the only difference here so with that said we are going to just go ahead and insert our measurement so first you insert your shoulder divided by two for me which is going to be um eight so I'm going to go ahead and mark that here. Come down here by one inch for my shoulder slope. I'm going to also insert my armhole, which is armhole divided by two. That's going to be nine. I'm going to go up here, mark it all the way down, connect it this way. And then the next thing is to insert your neckline. My neck width, I'm going to just use basic neck width, which is going to be three inches. Connect this up to this point. And then I'm going to give it a um, one inch curve for the back neckline and then about 3.5 for the front neckline. So just like that. And then after that, I'm going to go ahead and insert my bust measurement divided by four, which is going to be 10.5 plus extra like um, one inch of seam allowance. And then if you want, you can add ease. Like I said, I don't want mine too fitted. So I'm just going to do 0.5. So the extra I added here is one inch of seam allowance and half an inch of ease. After that, you're going to place your tape back again to your waist. My waist is at 17. Mark that here. So on this line here, you're going to insert your waist measurement divided by four. Right? So for me, that's going to be about um, 8.5. Mark that here. Like I said, I'm going to add extra 1.5 to this because I need one inch of seam allowance and half an inch of ease guys but here is the thing you want this bust area to be able to pass your head to be able to pass through this point right so you need to um if yours is a little bit like too cinched at the waist like your waist difference of your waist and your bust is too much you might want to add like extra two inches like do two inches instead of like one inch of ease and then one inch of seam allowance just so that you can be able to pass it through your head but if you still want it fitted like you want to use exactly your hip waist measurement like the one on the picture how fitted it is right from her bust to her waist and everything just go ahead and use zip this so that when you open it you can wear it like a dress but since i'm not putting in zip here i'm trying to i'm not i don't want to have zip at the back i just want to have a button so i added extra is at the waist so just so that the button when the button might stop somewhere here at the back so that when, once i pass my head i can be able to fit my bust into it and wear it so that's the thing so i'm just going to connect from here to the waist and then just from the waist you're going to mark the from your shoulder again you're going to mark the hip measurement for me that's about 24.5 and then on this hip, you're going to add your hip measurement divided by four plus one, which is the exact fold of this cloth. So from there, you're going to connect it this way, all the way to the end, right? Follow that same measurement to the end. So that's basically it for this here. Guys, like I said, if you want to change your length, you're going to have to fold your akara the other way, because if you see, I'm using the two edge of where my akara is. That's if you're working with an akara fabric. But any fabric you're working with, just remember to add about extra two inches so that you can use 
1.5 to fold the edge and half an inch to fold the join the two shoulder together so guys now i'm just going to go ahead and mark my armhole here so because this is the back the front armhole and it's going to have a sleeve i i'm going to find halfway through this here which is 4.5 for me go in by half an inch here and then connect it with a curve to my bust measurement and then with a straight line from the top part so guys that's basically it here all i have to do now is just to go ahead cut from this point all the way out to the armhole but right now since the front and the back i'm cutting them together i'm going to stick to this front one once i separate it then i can chip off the excess from the front armhole so guys i've gone ahead and cut from here all the way out into the armhole cut the shoulder slope cut the back neckline so now all i have to do is to separate the back and the front and once i separated this back panel now the only thing i have to do if you had um if you decided to add zip to your own then you would have split it open to the end so that way you can be able to insert your zip like a normal dress and then finish it up just like that it, it doesn't have any dart that's the thing this doesn't have any dart but once you have a long zip you can be able to wear it because remember you're still going to have a slit so guys what i'm going to do is for the back neckline i'm going to go down by about let's say up to like six inches from here so you see from up i opened it up a little bit i'm going to use um a fabric to turn it over and then guys another thing is for the front i'm going to cut off this neckline here this about three inches or 3.5 whatever you can bring your neckline down even further and then another change is just to cut off the armhole right this inner part because your front armhole is always deeper right so i've cut that out guys another thing now is that this slit is supposed to be some people go directly to their waist like their slits start directly to their waist but i don't want my skin to show at the side because most times your trouser might not go up there up to your waist so i'm going to do about two inches below my waist so this is my waistline which is as shoulder to 17 inches so let's say my slit is going to stop at 19 right two inches down from here from here to here you can go directly to your waist and just sew everything close on the side to the top but for me i'm going to just do i'm going to do two inches below that so what i'm going to do now is first of all i'm going to turn this neckline over with a fabric and then i'm going to join the two shoulders together and then i'm going to put in my sleeve and this is the sleeve i'm working with so this is basically it here i'm going to start cut it so, so guys for my sleeve i folded it into two and then the width here is basically your armhole divided by two plus like extra a uh, 1.5 so that's what you're supposed to have here because um because of the seam allowance you added to the clothes right so i'm going to come down here and mark my mark about four inches down and then i'm going to like how we normally cut our sleeve put my tape here from the edge to this point and figure halfway through for me that's like 13 um 12.5 sorry not 13 almost 12 inches so halfway through that is going to be six give it a curve above and then give it a curve below that line so after that you're going to insert your sleeve width for me that's 14 mark that here add one inch of seam allowance mark that here and then connect it to this point so this is basically my sleeve cut it here cut up here and then to this top so guys this is my sleeve i'll go ahead now and start coupling mine together so guys this is how you're going to turn the back neckline you're going to get a piece of fabric that looks like this one here just slightly longer than whatever slit you made you see mine is about let's say three inches longer than the slit i made i'm going to open this up this way the right side is facing me the right side of this is going to also face this way and then i'm going to follow that line you're going to have to turn it around now so that you can be able to sew it so you're going to place it this way right side facing each other at the back here and then you're going to make a stitch half just very close to the edge so guys you're going to make a stitch very close to the edge like this all the way down and then another stitch all the way down to this point and connect the two together down here and then you're going to cut open once you sew this down you cut open this particular cloth behind it and then flip it inside out so that's basically how you turn off turn this around and then you join the shoulder fix the sleeve is it here i've finished mine so you see 
from the seam allowance on the side is what you're going to use to fold the edge you see from for my the seam allowance i used to sew the side that 1.5 is what you're going to now use to sew the edge here and once you come to this top you cross over to the other side and sew the other edge just like that the same thing you sew from one side to the end and then when you get to this top part here you just cross over to the other side fold this in this way and sew it down to the edge so guys this is basically you see the back here this is the back you see this is how i turned it over and then I'm going to, I made this loop here with just using bias to wrap around the neckline. And this is the front of my own. So guys, like I said, you can make yours longer. But you know, I'm using the length of the Akara this way, which is 45. But if you want, you can fold it the other way around and just get the full length you want. But this is how I made mine. So thank you guys so much for watching. And please like, share and subscribe. Bye.